Hey there folks, it is Rob and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be bringing back my collection series. Um, basically where I show you guys a movie series or a TV series and talk about every single movie or season within that series. Now I did that with you know my horror collection videos which I'm bringing back as well. But today I specifically wanted to talk about Cobra Kai. Now I am a huge Karate Kid fan. Huge Karate Kid fan. Um, the Karate Kid trilogy is fantastic. And then there's the next Karate Kid, which is still in the Miyagi-verse. And it's still canon to this show. But Cobra Kai, in my opinion, is how you do a, a what I want to say, a continuation of the movies, the Karate Kid universe. Um, this is how you not only like make a sequel of what happened with the movies, but you continue on with the characters, uh, write new stories and you know, there's a lot of nostalgia there, and this is how you do it. Um, I love this show. It's probably my favorite show. It's on Netflix, but um, it first started on YouTube Red. Um, and then, you know, by season three, they went over to Netflix. But this show is just so amazing. And the reason why I'm talking about it now is because this week is going to be uh, season six, part one, uh, and in season six is supposed to be the final season. Altogether, there are five seasons so far, so that's what I'm gearing up for. So I just wanted to show you guys my Cobra Kai uh, TV show collection on DVD because that's all they've released it on. Hopefully, when all the seasons come out, they will have kind of like a box set or something on Blu-ray. But here's the first release um, when, like I said, Cobra Kai was on YouTube. They the physical media format was DVD, but they combined seasons one and two on on this DVD set. But I love the cover art. You know, Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso, you got Crease and then all the kids. And it says the Karate Kid saga continues. So, you know, you get. Season one and two, and you have some special features, um, bonus scenes, gag reel, the musical performances. I, I love the music in this show. It is fantastic. They have some music from the movies as well as some new stuff to keep it fresh. But yeah, this has... Uh, season one and two, and they're basically discs that are stacked um, and that's, that's basically all that they have here, but it works, you know, you got combined seasons. So seasons one and two. Now here is season three. It's a little torn there. I don't When I ripped off the plastic to this, it kind of tore the plastic of the actual case, which pissed me off, but uh, season three was really good. Season three had a lot of nostalgia and um, has some returning characters from um, the movies. Um, and Karate Kid 2, I love so much. And there's a huge segment up for um, Karate Kid 2 in this. Um, but season three has some dark moments. You know, at the end of season two, you have Miguel who gets hurt. But season three... Um, <clears throat> You know, someone gets their arm broke, and then, uh, uh, yeah, there's Miguel trying to recover and stuff, which is kind of sad, but um, it's fantastic, though. I love it. Um, I love pretty much every season in this show, but, yep, there's uh, the discs there. Got a flip tray, so... That's uh, season three of Cobra Kai. 
Moving on to season four. On the cover there, you got Johnny Lawrence, Daniel LaRusso, and the kids. Um, Crease, and then introducing Terry Silver. Thomas Ian Griffith returns out of retirement. Um, Thomas Ian Griffith retired from acting, and he came out of retirement just to do this show. They asked him, and he was thrilled to do it. Terry Silver was one of my favorite villains of all time. And, you know, in Cobra, uh, or sorry, Karate Kid 3, he was kind of an over-the-top villain, but that's why people loved him. And in this show, they really ground his character. They really kind of explain why he was the way he was in Karate Kid 3. But I love it. He, um, Thomas Ian Griffith was probably the best part about um, this season of Cobra Kai, season four. Again, there's a flip tray with the discs. Same thing. Here's a t uh, look at the back here. Terry Silver is just awesome. But yeah, that's uh, season four of Cobra Kai. And then here we have season five. And on the front right there is Terry Silver himself. You got Chosen. Mike Barnes actually returns in this season. Um, a lot of fights. Just a lot of fun. Uh, this season DVD actually came with a slip cover, which is the same thing there. But um, again, you got the flip trays. Kind of a common thing with these... Uh, with the series, I guess, what they did with these DVDs. Um, now this, um, yeah, so season five, uh, there's a lot going on. There are matchups and fights that I never thought I'd see, such as Chosen from Karate Kid 2 fighting Terry Silver from Karate Kid 3. Like, you never would think that you'd see that. Or seeing Mike Barnes, Johnny Lawrence, and Chosen standing all together with Daniel. Like, what? Like, that's just crazy. That's something that a, a, a huge fan would dream about. Uh, and it actually comes to fruition here um, in Season 5 Cobra Kai. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is the newest season of Cobra Kai until this week. We are, like I said, we are having um, Cobra Kai season six, part one. They are splitting it into three parts because it is the final season. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to see where they're going to go with uh, season six. Um, hopefully... We get some good characters returning and some good fights. So anyway, guys, that is my Cobra Kai DVD collection. Hope you enjoyed this. And I do plan on reviewing these season, you know, seasons individually. So, uh, yeah, I want to talk about certain episodes and things. So, uh, again, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.